Okay guys, so I know I'm looking a little crazy, but first things first before we get into this, um, I wanted to show you the hair. The hair I'll be working today with is Supernova hair. So they sent me, sent me their 613 straight lace front wig and it is 20 inches. Take it for Ooh, so this is what she looks like inside. I got a medium cap, so it comes with three clips and an adjustable strap. And then also has some back lace right here. Ooh, this wig is so freaking thick. Like, this is 180% density. Ooh, I'm so excited. And it also came with baby hairs. And it also is pre-plucked. I love pre-plucked wigs because I hate plucking. It takes up a lot of time. They also put a wig cap in the box. Some care tips on how to care for the hair and how to wash the hair. It also came with an elastic band so you guys can sew this on and make it glueless if you wanted to. And a new thing that hair companies are starting to put put in the packages are these cute bags that you can throw your wig in after. I really, really love these and I'm so happy that the companies are starting to include these because I get so many wigs and now I could just, when I'm done with the wig, put it in a bag and put it up. So before we get started, I am going to wash the wig with sulfate free shampoo. And this is just the shampoo that I'm going to be using just because I just found it and I seen that it said sulfate free. So I'm just going to wash the wig really quick and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I washed the hair. And the reason why I wash the hair is because I seen all the videos of people doing the watercolor method and they always do it with dry hair and then it comes out patchy. So I'm just thinking in my head like maybe if you put in while it's already wet, it might not be patchy. But this is my first time doing this y'all so hopefully it works. Like I'm just so freaking nervous about doing this. Okay guys, so I already boiled some water. Well, I didn't really boil it, but I just let it get a little hot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump that into my container. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Okay, the colors that I'll be working with are these two colors and they're actually from um, a black owned hair dye company called Color Color. I picked these colors up like a few months ago when she first launched but I never got a chance to use them so I'm so excited to use them now. So the colors that I'll be using is Copper Coin Carrot Orange. There, I'm going for an orangey copper color of course so we're just going to be mixing them together and just see what we come up with and i'm going to be stirring it with this little whisk so oh let me put on my gloves y'all these are my dyeing gloves so i know it's a watercolor but i don't know i'm still scared it might like stain my hands so i'm gonna put on gloves to be safe ah, so, so i'm gonna go in with the carrot orange first and this hair dye is Thick. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in. I feel like I'm doing like a science project. And you wanna mix it in and make sure you don't see like any lumps of color from the dye. And this hair color smells so good. It don't smell like hair color. Like, I don't know, it smells so freaking good. So now I'm going to go in with the coin copper. And mix it in again. I'm not really doing no type of measurements. I'm really just, you know, just pouring it in and mixing it. I am going to test it out and see like what color it is first before I just dip the whole thing in here. Okay, so I think I mixed it pretty good. And I'm gonna just take like a strand from the back and dip it and see. Woo! It's coming out like light. 
I'm gonna add some more of the orange. But I'm not mad at it. Like, it's a cute, like, light. So I added some more of the carrot orange. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the copper as well. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna take my string, so I'm gonna go ahead and zip it again. Ooh. Okay, that's giving the color that I'm going for, honestly. Okay, y'all, so let's just go ahead and zip it. I'm kinda scared, but let's just do it, let's just do it. Well, I'm gonna dip the front two first, because I've heard that it takes a while for it. I'ma I'm just swirl it around in here. You know what I'm seeing. Hey y'all, so I'm going to add more color because this is pretty much the color that I want at the ends, but it's not taken to the rest of the hair. So, it's giving me like sherbet vibes. Ah, so cute, but I'm just going to add a little bit more color to the water and then re-dip it. Okay, y'all, um, so I like let this sit for a good like 20 minutes. This is how the color is looking so far. So I think I'm pretty happy with the color. So I'm about to just go ahead and rinse it out and I'll see y'all when I start. Okay, guys, so here is the wig fully dry. Look at this color, it's so freaking popping. And I'll put a little curl in it with the curling iron. So now we're gonna go ahead and apply her. So of course, first things first is you wanna clean off your hairline with alcohol. So oh, like it's popping. This hair took the curl so freaking good. Like, I actually curled this hair, um, like, a few hours ago. And look how the curls is still lasting.
how y'all feeling this color? It's real bright, but it's still cute. I'm um comb these curls out. I'm gonna just take this little comb and comb the curls out. Okay guys, so this is the final results. I come the curls out. They're looking so freaking good. Wanna see a video on how I curl hair? Just let me know in the comments down below. I'm feeling this color. It's something new. Um, The watercoloring method was cool or whatever, but I mean, it did leave some patches in the hair. Um, so like everything is even, but I mean, you really can't tell that much. What kind of, as you can see, like these got darker than the top, but it's really not bad. So I'm cool with it. So thank you again, Supernova Hair, for sending over this bomb wig, so bomb and full. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys was feeling it. Also, leave a comment down below if you want any other videos for me to record. I just keep touching my hair. I just keep looking at it because I'm so, like, just feeling it, girl. But I love you all, as always, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.